Hey everyone, Coach Mark here. So this week I want to share with you this story about a dog and its bone, okay? So the dog is wandering around town and the dog comes across this big old juicy T-bone bone, all right? And the dog is just thinking to itself, wow, man, I found this huge bone and I'm about to go home and I'm about to have the greatest time in the world. I'm about to chow down on this bone that I found. Anyway, the dog picks up the bone, starts heading home. As the dog is heading home, it goes, it runs into this river. So the dog looks into the river, and the dog sees a reflection of himself in the mirror. But the dog doesn't realize that he's the one who he sees. So he's looking in the river, and he sees a reflection of another dog with the bone. So the dog is thinking to himself, like, wow, that dog has a bigger bone than the bone that I have. So the dog just starts barking, and it's barking. He thinks that he's going to scare the other dog into dropping his bone, right? He's just trying to bully the other dog into dropping his bone. Yet he doesn't even realize that he's really barking at himself. So he's barking so much, carrying on, trying to scare the other person because he thinks that this other person has a bigger bone than what he has. And guess what happens? He ends up dropping his bone in the river. And the bone ends up floating away and the dog can't get the bone. Isn't that amazing? Here it is. The dog had this big old juicy bone. And all he had to do was just mind his own business and go home. And he would have had the greatest supper ever. He would have had this big old T-bone steak bone. But no, the dog was so focused on what somebody else had. He ended up trying to scare the other person into the, trying to scare the other dog into dropping the bone and he ended up scaring himself and he ended up dropping his bone into the river and now he's got to go home with absolutely nothing here's the moral of that story be grateful for what you have a lot of times it's easy for us to look at what's going on on social media look at other people's timelines right and see what they have and not even realizing that what it may seem like they have they don't have and if they do have it, maybe they worked hard for it. Maybe they deserve it. Don't worry. If you put in the work, you work hard for whatever it is that you want, you get it in due time when it's the right time for you. Don't be like that dog. Don't be like that dog. Don't be ungrateful for what you do have. Be grateful for what you do have and, and, and take that. And if you want more, know that more is out there for you. You just got to go out there and you got to get it. Right. Just like that dog initially did. The dog got messed up when the dog started worrying about what somebody else had, especially in this day and age. You know, it's just so easy for us to scroll down our timelines and get so caught up in what other people have. Don't be like that dog. Focus on your bone and go home and enjoy your bone. All right. Hope you guys got something great from that little story. See you next week.